Hey guys, welcome back to Mike's World. Today, I'm going to show you how to use animated lower thirds in OBS for your streams. Now, I did a separate video on how to create animated lower thirds. There is going to be a link at the top of the screen. There'll be a link in the description. Uh, but once you've created these as MP4s with a Chroma background that you can key out, I'm going to show you quickly how you can run those in OBS and keep them organized if you have multiple ones so that it's easy for you to use. So let's get started. Now that you've got lower thirds made, and if you don't know how, I'll refer you back to a previous video I made showing you, and there's a link at the top on how to do this. There's also a link in the description. Once you have animated lower thirds made, what I'm gonna do is I've just created a scene here in OBS, and if I hit uh, play here, it's just a parade that I had shot um, a few years ago. We're gonna let that play because I'm gonna show you how to add lower thirds to that. I have it muted. There is actually sound, but it's gonna be really loud. Play. So we're not going to do that. So what you do is once you have a scene made and you have a source which is video like this or live TV or a live camera, go down here into the add button and you want to add a media source. And we're just going to call it L3-1 and we're going to unclick the restart, make sure it's not looping, browse for a local file and go find the file wherever you saved your animated lower thirds as mp4s I put them in downloads because they were only temporary and I'm going to select hotkey 3 click open and so you have it selected I am going to click OK notice and then I'm going to pause it right here but notice it's got the chroma key background here so uh, I want to get rid of the chroma key so what I do is and then see the eye here if I turn it off I lose the lower third right or lose the animation so what I want to do is with this highlighted go to filters under effect filters you want to add a filter chroma key click OK and there is your key if I click on that key and I hit stop and I hit this I can start it whenever I want to start it and it comes out and because I didn't have loop selected it's done now what I normally do is I'll click here and key this in and I get ready and the moment it pulls itself out I unselect the eye the reason I do that is because if I happen to hit it again it's not going to show up if the eye is selected then turn the eye on then it's going to show turn hit click the eye turn it off and it goes away if you have multiple then you just stack them so I'm gonna go back here go media source I'm gonna say L3-2 and obviously you can name these with people's names or do whatever I'm gonna click unclick restart I'm gonna hit browse I'm gonna go hotkey 2 and click OK and see how that animated but I'm gonna pause that again click this I'm gonna to go to filters effects click chroma key OK, close. And there it is. And then what I can do is I can stop it. And then if I want to start it, it animates. And once it animates out, I just turn off the eye. And if the next one I want is that back to that original one, I turn the eye on. I go up here and I can click to have it, have it fly in. And when it's done, it'll go out. And then I have one more key I created, so let's go ahead and add it just to show it, So because we have plenty of time. Uh, I just didn't even name it, unclick restart, and we'll go here, and now it's host key, the first one. Click OK. We're going to pause it. Again, click here, go to filters, effects, chroma key. Click OK, close. And then if I hit stop, now if I want to, obviously it's hard to see because it's so dark but then I can select each key and I can key it in just like that so and now what I want to do is I'm just going to show you a short little clip from a debate live stream that we did using this very uh, technique of keying in lower thirds thank you very much Mr. Prozinski 15 Abraham Lincoln didn't go to college. He became a president. Why don't we follow his steps? 
Thank you very much. Uh, speaking of education, our newsroom has been learning a lot about the topic of housing and the housing crisis that is facing the city of Edmond, the state of Oklahoma, and of course the nation as a whole. So let's talk about housing very briefly. Uh, I've got the first question to, oh, Oh, this is a toss-up. That's right. I'm sorry. My script let me down. In October, the city of Edmond received a report that projects that the city needs to add about 8,900 residential living units over the next decade just to catch up with the current housing demand. Uh, we've reported about folks who work in service industry jobs or other things not being able to find anywhere to live in Edmond, having to commute to Edmond to work those jobs. What possible legislative solutions do you support to improve access to housing in Edmond and across the state? Again, this is a toss-up, 60 seconds. Who wants to talk about housing first? Well, uh, Trace, I'll, I'll just make uh, some brief comments. You know, I think that that is, I think housing, determining where one, where an individual can live, where a family can live, that's an individual decision that a family has to make based off of their budget. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. Like that video, leave a comment, and hit that notification bell, and you'll know every time we upload a new video. Hope you've enjoyed this. I'll see you next time. Take care.